Hey fellow backyard farmers, today's going to be a quick video talking about what I consider to be the best automatic chicken feeder setup. I've been running this setup for about 12 years now and I wanted to do a quick overview of it. So it starts down below. I purchased this on, I believe it was on Amazon and unfortunately I couldn't find the exact one but if anybody knows where to get this particular one still I would love to plug that link down below. So before getting this style, what I always used was one of these little guys you can get pretty cheap and I just took a frisbee and cut it to you know, keep the shavings, bedding and poop out of there. But unfortunately they still like to kick everything in here and rodents get in here real easy too. So uh, these work good, but definitely not the best. Now this one right here, all right, so basically they come over, step on this, and you can see it's empty right now, so I'm about to fill them up. But uh, yeah, it's fully adjustable with this all thread. You have washers over here for uh, different size chickens. If you have smaller chickens, you could you know, change the counterweights on that. And uh, let me fill her up now and show you. Well, the beauty of it is that I have a two inch PVC pipe coming out of the top. And I'll show you where that goes. This, this is the, the beautiful part of the system. Boom, we got a five gallon, well actually it's more than five gallons because I doubled them up, but water tank up here. And to open and close that, there's a little flapper that slides right inside this little, uh, where the heck did that go? Right here, so if you want to close it, you take this and slide that in. And now I'll fill it up so you can see this thing in action. Quick note though, one thing I didn't like about this feeder when I got it was uh, you can't see how much feed is in it. So if your chickens were running out, you'd have to just be kind of paying attention if they're stomping and getting loud, uh, getting noisy. So I cut a you know, inch and a half hole on the back and just put a little sight glass in there. And so you can see as, as I'm walking by my yard, I know immediately if the chicken feed's completely empty. Now I will admit lifting a 40 pound bag up this high can be a little tough. So that hopper holds a solid 40 pounds and then you can put the lid on to keep rodents and debris out. Let's open the flow valve. Here we go. Oh yeah. So that two inch pipe works excellent unless your feed is getting wet. But you can see down on that sight glass now, really easy to see that you have feed when you're walking by. And I bet you they're going to walk right over to that now and see, see if there's food because they've been checking it all day today. And she just stopped flowing. This is about halfway down. So that means the capacity of this is about uh, 20 pounds. I'm gonna add another 20 pounds, so the, the total system is 60 pounds of feed, which is not bad. It took him a few minutes to figure out there was food back in there, but let me kick him off now so you can see the thing in operation. All right, here we go. Boom, see they are so smart, and they figured this thing out like ultra quick when you get them. You just have to leave this open with a weight when you first get it, and they'll you know, figure it out. You leave it only with a weight for maybe a day and then they, they know where that food is. So uh, yeah, works good. And that'll wrap this up. So I just wanted to share the, my system with anybody. So maybe it gives you an idea. You build something similar like this yourself if you're good with sheet metal. Or again, if anybody knows the manufacturer of this specific unit, let me know so I can drop that down below for others. I will plug a link to similar ones that are on Amazon. They do sell like waterproof ones. This one's water resistant. Of course, you see I cut a hole in the top of it though, but, but that's not a problem for me, obviously. If you need a waterproof one though, they do sell galvanized ones that are waterproof. So yeah, it definitely saves a lot of time and I only have to check their food once every uh, about two months or so I actually write it down all up in here but yeah it's it's every let's let's find out for sure yeah so actually more like four months because the last time I touched it was November 21st I put 50 pounds in it and now we're uh, was it March 28th today so about four months of not having to deal with the food, which is awesome. The water's usually about a month and a half, two months also. I have an eight gallon tank, insulated tank with a heater in it. Let's see, I gotta fill that right now, but uh, you know, real low maintenance, which is, is nice. I probably gotta clean this a little bit, but you know, looking good. The rest of my bulk feed I store on this side in a uh, cut off 55 gallon drum with a stone on top. I appreciate you watching if you did and enjoy your day. See you next time.